Brendan. I'm an 11th grader at Central High School, and today I'll be breaking down B to C and Max It Out. In this section of Max It Out, B to C, there's going to be a pattern. It's going to be a check measure, followed by an eighth note measure, a check measure, followed by another eighth note measure, and you're going to see that four times. The check is going to sound a little bit like this. Let me slow that down for you. It's going to be a doubled right hand on, on the rim. You just want to move your right hand, or, or my bad, doubled left hand on the rim. You just want to move your left hand up. Followed by a theta three and a theta one leading to the next measure off the right. The whole measure sounds like this. Then the eighth note measure after that check is going to be an accent pattern with the left hand on the tay for the first two beats and the right hand on the downbeat for the next two beats. First two beats are going to sound like this. And then the next two beats are going to sound like this. And you're going to want to make sure to keep it nice mezzo forte for the taps, the hands that aren't playing, or the hands that are not accented, are mezzo forte because the previous measure to the first measure of B says mezzo forte. The next, uh, the whole measure is going to sound like this. The check with that will sound like this. Then it's the same check as the first measure of B. And there's another eighth note pattern, but with stick clicks and diddles on the tay. For the first two beats, it's going to be a stick click on the tay. It's going to sound like this. You just want to bring that right hand right over the left hand. And then on the next two beats, it's going to be a diddle on the, on the tay. That whole measure is going to sound like this. The check with that measure is going to sound like this. Then the next measure is going to be the same check as before. And then it's another accent pattern in the next measure, except it's a little bit different than before. It's going to be an accent on the downbeat of two and the upbeat of three, or the tape three. This measure is going to sound like this. Let me slow that down for you, because that measure can get a little bit tricky. With the check, it's going to be something like this. And then we're going to be playing the check once more after that. Except we're going to be ending on an accent this time, because the next measure is going to be full diddles. So it's going to be an accent on the downbeat of one. And then on the tay of one is going to be a diddle, the two, down to two is going to be a diddle, and the tay of two is going to be a diddle. Ending with an accent on three. The check with that is going to sound like this. Now the whole selection played a little bit slower than before, it's going to sound like this. For the check measure, with the left hand on the rim, you're going to want to make sure to keep the tacit hand, the hand that's not playing, nice and center of the pad. There should be no wobble and it shouldn't move. Keep that nice open pizza slice with the cookie on the hand. That has been B to C and max it out. Always be sure to slow it down if you're having any trouble and you can always rewatch the video. See ya.